Divine Feminine, the Empress Codes have awakened within you. So we are activating here the Sacral Chakra. Thank you for being here. You're here with Bella Katrina. You're at Vimeo. You're at Receptive Mode. Where we are teaching and not expecting, aren't we? Congratulations to those that are receiving your Mastership or have already received it. You have positioned yourself as Masters of the Light. And that's what we're here to do is let your light shine so before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Matthew 5.16 So bringing the vibration of love, right? And we're actually hitting the sacral chakra. So this is trusting in love. So big deep breath. I'm just receiving this vibration. If you're Reiki attuned, hands on Reiki on, on your sacral, which is your womb. So you know the specific hand position for that, that I've trained you. If you're not attuned to Reiki, you can do so at ReikiByBella.com. I now balance all my appetites and desires easily. Hands on Reiki on, I desire to be a channel of universal Reiki life force. We're bringing a shocker ray, shocker ray, shocker ray. Sehe ki, sehe ki, sehe ki. We've got a message here from Archangel Michael first up. So Archangel Michael is letting you know that, you know, you may have be experienced a um, bit of frustration, a time where you know, our inner teenager, our rebellious, angry, know-it-all teenager has come out to be released and to be loved and nurtured. So we do that with ourself first. And who do we do that with? Jesus. So if you haven't received Jesus and your baptism and you don't know why you need a savior, it's time to wake up, wake up, wake up and go to holy, holy, holy. So here at Vimeo, we're doing receptive mode. Michael is helping you know that God is in charge of this whole relationship. We must trust. That's what the sacral is about. Let go. Dear God and Archangel Michael, thank you for watching over me and my twin. My children, my animals, my family, my business, help me feel secure and at peace and fill me with faith so that I may focus on my priorities and enjoy a healthy, happy life. So you could write that down and say it daily to Archangel Michael. So the message is to go forward fearlessly, Divine Feminine at this time. Going forward fearlessly, isn't that beautiful? Thank you for walking with me every step of the way, Jesus. For holding my hand, giving me confidence and courage, Archangel Michael. And guiding my thoughts and actions, Holy Spirit. In the direction of love and my true life's purpose. So see how there is energy, there's power. And that's your solar plexus. So that's where the inner teenager has power and control struggles. So it may have come up for you an issue where you're being the dominant parent in a relationship, whether it's with your twin. I hope it's not because you're creating karma there. We don't do that in Twin Flame Reiki. So if you've received your Reiki, please do so. So let's have a look at Raphael because we're not doing run a chase. So it doesn't exist in Bella Katrina world here at Vimeo. Runner Chaser is codependency. So we're going to drop it and all that lingo, right? We're going to just wake up, relax, opening our sacral to trust. Trust in who? Our soul. Thought this was a good idea. We have to trust that the angels have it all worked out. God's looking over his children with his dispensation of grace sent his son as a way out so we're taking that here at Bella Katrina we're finding anything we can to get into receptive mode so Archangel Raphael and I'm going to tell you a little bit about what love is from God's point of view oh, look Raphael the patron saint of relationships is working on this twin flame connection so if it's meant to be God creates supernatural ways that can bring it into reality in practical steps. We just have to open our heart, give it to Jesus, reconcile our soul back to God, follow our heart 
and Jesus will light the steps of the way. Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for healing and guiding all of my relationships, including my twin flame union upon the path of love. So love's the vibration that we're trying to bring. Whoa. Huh. So does that somebody come in? So getting enough sleep? I'm not. That's why I haven't put makeup on. So I don't think it's going to make any effect. Not sleeping a lot, but needing to. So resting more in the daytime. Message from Raphael. Laughter is your best medicine. Because look, this is the Holy Spirit sent by Jesus, a new covenant in Christ we've received. And this gives you freedom and joy. Dear Archangel Raphael, if you're looking for joy in the matrix, right, in your reality in the matrix, then you're lost. Like that's where I just couldn't believe. I was looking for something that didn't exist. So laughter's hard to find unless you're saved. Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for reminding me to detach and find the humor and irony within every human drama. So you know when you laugh about it, you think you're healed. And staying positive. Lifting your vibration. What, what are the top five ways to lift my vibration? What are the top five ways you can lift it? Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for helping me be optimistic and take the appropriate action steps that support my health and well-being. And then just an outcome. Oh, Jesus is here. See, we're going to have faith and trust. We are wa walking through a portal, twins, together. And Divine Feminine aw has awakened first. Now here at Bella Katrina also, I'm going to tell you, we are very gender specific as twin flames. Have you noticed they're smudging the gender? Right? So a lot of readers are going, we're not working on gender, we're just working on energy. So the Empress can be a masculine if you're watching. It's like, what the fuck are you talking about? In the garden, there was Adam and Eve. Hello, the serpent is our five senses of lust of the flesh. Do you know what I mean? Things like that. So we're having faith that we are on a mission and we are bringing the feminine and masculine codes back, which is what Satan is trying to demolish, bring them together as a transgender and then they're worshiping Satan. So this is our mission as twins. So if this is, you're not awake yet to this or, you know, just know that you will. And um, if this isn't resonating with you, then this is not your mission. Dear Jesus and Archangel Raphael, thank you for boosting my faith so that I may trust in miracles. Because twin flames are different to anything else and that's why we have to get into 75% receptive mode. We're not tw we're not soul mates, right? We're twin flames, we're on a mission. And God says, Galatians 5, 22, 23, but the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such things, there is no law. Wow, Galatians 5, 22, 23, teaching about love. So to teach it, we're going to have to learn it, aren't we? And we've got 1 Corinthians 13, 4 to 5, or they say 1 Corinthians 13, chapter 13, verses 4 and 5, love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it, does, it is not proud, it does not dishonour others. It is not self-seeking, not easily angered. It keeps no records of wrongs. So just meditating on that for a day will definitely help out. He who is patient and slow to anger has great understanding, but one who is quick-tempered displays foolishness. Proverbs 14.29 the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. So we're learning self-mastery with all these massive emotions coming through and our inner teenager coming out to play. So we're going to have a look at um, Divine Masculine, first card, Divine Feminine, and then the outcome. Just looking around this new moon coming in. And we've shed um, karmics. Um, Energy has been burned by flame, the dragon, in the fifth dimension. And it's coming down here. So it's it's descending down so we can ascend. Right? So we're meeting this energy. We're merging together with energy that's coming down through the celestial realm. 
and um, you're the conduit of it. Yes, you are. So let's have a look. And then we've got a message from the Crystal Angels and Mother Mary and then from your beloved. So this is about redesigning what parents are. There's a banjo there and a tambourine. So music, elevating your thoughts, reprogramming yourself about what relationships are. The divine truth is that your parents eternally love you to be the best of their ability. The angels are helping you heal from any pain associated with your mother or father. You know, so you think back to when you were a teenager and how you rebelled against them because you knew everything. 16, I knew everything. And that 16 year old came out in around this Taurus full moon. And um, I've had counseling with the father that I'm sharing with you at holy, 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 because we need it. Oh, I did. Because I had an ego and then saying your divine masculine has that times three. So don't judge him when you're carrying around a portion of it yourself. You can only go back to me, change yourself, and then your twin, your mirror, your twin changes automatically. So amazing. So there you are. Congratulations, Divine Feminine. You're stepping into your light worker role and being very powerful. It's a safe for you to be powerful. Your spiritual power brings great blessings in loving service to the divine. So you're doing more than you think. You've changed more than you realize. And you're letting go of old patterns from parenting. Right, from parenting. And also, look, past lives. See, past lives and um, cutting cords. And then here's the fairies. Oh, so the elemental kingdom manifesting very quickly in our thoughts and feelings. So it's really important on what you're channeling. Are you channeling love, peace, joy? How do you get there? How do you get to a space of love and peace and joy? Well, knowing that you're free helps me. Workshops and seminars. So learning Reiki, doing your, you know, 10 week fast track to power. Or if you're into your 10 packs at mastership, right? Because we're at, we're preparing for a new vibration and there's a massive portal in December so again congratulations for you to position yourself for the best way forward at this time is to receive the three attunements in Reiki as I'm aware and to receive the Holy Spirit we do the Reiki so we can receive more of divine grace because we're actually in an electromagnetic um, you know frequency modulation so we're breaking free of the matrix, which is good. And as we do that, we're going to say, I release now, big deep breath, any old pain coming from rejection, abandonment and betrayal. I surrender now my human habit to control and manipulate. Divine energy is the desired outcome. Divine desired energy that I'm receiving, I am channeling now. I also release my human questioning about how or when I will come into physical union with my twin flame. And I call the perfect divine guidance of my own I am presence to become active in my life. We now send my heart, I now send my heart call right now to this one who was made just for me. I connect at this moment, heart to heart. Me and my twin together in infinity, Father, Son, Holy Spirit love and protection me and my twin together in infinity father son holy spirit in love and protection send it out and then we're going to activate in jesus mighty name hands on your heart hands on reiki on so powerful thank you for joining me in jesus mighty name i stir up activate and release holy fire holy fire Holy fire. Excellent. This is a cleansing and a clearing. So I'm going to just do a decree and declare. Now I'm mixing crystal angels with Mother Mary angels. Just happened. So I'm letting you know I'm going to do a full reading for you. Just bringing in guidance, healing and messages from the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit and the angels. 
I decree and declare every tongue that rises against me in judgment be condemned and rebuked. Every spirit of darkness that has attack on me, I cast out every evil spell, hex, curse, demonic implant that is causing me any harm. I cast out now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ any implants on anybody watching. I decree and declare that I have the perfect partner to settle with and love in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, my twin flame. is here for my discovery. 1 John 2 15 16 message from your father. Do not love the world or anything in the world. If anyone loves the world, love for the father is not in them. And look at the card you got. For everything in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes and the pride of life comes not from the father but from the world. So a big deep breath and giving any pain over to Father now. Take a deep breath. And on the exhalation, release this situation, this relationship to God for healing and answers and miracles. You can ask him for a sign. It's really good to get into acceptance, I found. Accepting that there is free will governing this relationship, yes. And you have to respect your divine masculine's free will. Of where he is right now and when you do that it actually releases the existence of the past and actually heals your present moment which changes your future so we've got amber the crystal amber giving it to God we also have angel light because this is your spiritual connection this is spiritual this is bigger than you and I do you know what I mean this is bigger than our twin than our issues than the matrix this is supernatural power coming in, paving the way for reality, practical steps. Everything goes really well. If things aren't going well and there's, you know, um, burden after burden. Now, I'm not saying that it's going to fly really well because we're actually creating a bond of intimacy through getting to know each other on a deeper level. So there will be trying times. But I'm saying if you have blockages in your way, in your relationship, and it just, you know, it's not practical. You live in different towns or you live far away or do you know what I mean? If it's like that, you have to just accept that you're not ready. It's not timing for you. And maybe that's not even your twin. As soon as you do that, it collapses that energy and it allows you to now create. And you, you're as a divine feminine, we're getting a, a vibrational match. Otherwise, there's not, there's nothing for divine masculine to match to, if that makes sense. Luke eight seventeen. So this is a sovereignty of your own energy field, not even really worrying about him. Okay, it's like you're creating your energy field, so there's a match. There's what they keep telling me. I'm like, okay, back to me, back to me. <laughs> Luke eight seventeen. For nothing is secret that will not be revealed. You're gonna find out everything, nor anything hidden that will not be known and come to the light. There'll be nothing. So don't think you're not gonna know things, or you know, it's like that. I think what's coming up in me is my rebellious teenager. So I need to forgive my parents for that time in my life because they didn't understand me and I rebelled out. Now I tell you before I came that when it is to come to pass, ye may believe that I am he. So these are the same revelations in the, in the Bible. There's 4,000, 4,400 already come to pass. So we know the Bible is the truth. You know, it's not a trial. Luke 21, 25, and there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and on the earth, the distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring, men's hearts failing them from fear and the expectation of those things which are coming on the earth for the hour of the heavens, for the power, sorry, of the heavens will be shaken. This is the tribulation that's coming. A lot of us are still not aware, really, in our reality, what's happening. Matthew 24, 28, all these things are the beginning of sorrows. So we are in the end days, so to speak, where actually the light tribe, the rainbow warrior light tribe, come to bring a new vibration to planet Earth. 
And there's been three generations of satanic ritual abuse that we're breaking through our um, getting into the present moment and getting into receptive mode. I am fully present in the here and now. So a lot of us aren't present where we're in our, our mind. A lot of air signs are losing, um, you know, their groundedness at the moment and needing more Reiki and more quiet time, letting the feet, you know, the fan, the ceiling fan of your mind slow down. There's also Moonstone, which I love because that brings back all our memories of, you know, Avalon and Atlantis and healing and the goddess energy. Be extra aware of your inner knowingness as it is trustworthy. Don't giving your power away. Don't go giving your power away. Getting back into the present moment. The only place we can receive our healing and our guidance. It's been really difficult, right? And um, constant when you've got the demons around trying to agitate you, take you out of peace. So this is the mother energy returning to work, to work, to earth, mother energy. All right. I open my heart to my mother's humanness and her divinity. And then we're connecting with our new mother, Mother Mary. So we're getting a spiritual family and we're releasing the 3D matrix family with love. And we're going for, look, here's the twins, right? So it's starting to move forward with progress, not perfection but progress. Don't compare yourself to others. Don't talk about your divine masculine to other women, right? Don't because you're manifesting something and that's like putting a hole in the bucket or judge yourself. Instead, focus upon how far you've come and all that you've learned. And that's true. You know, I see your beautiful codes awakening those who are working with me in your empowerment program and it's just a delight the um, transformations that are occurring it's really really rewarding and you should be very very proud of yourself you can see it in your face especially when the Holy Spirit we thank you Jesus for dying on the cross for our sins because otherwise we wouldn't have a way out and you have to stay for the tribulation we actually getting a ticket out before the tribulation that's what it means dwelling on the past and future keeps me from experiencing the power of now wow i make a conscious choice to be present i accept love now i am grateful for your love so this is again getting back into the present moment and how do we do that hands on reiki on is the only way the only way I know. So if you have another way that gets you into the pro into the present moment to receive healing and guidance, please can you share it in comments below? What? How else do you do it? I've been searching for 15 years. Your twin flames love surrounds you this very moment. Stop and feel it. Unconditional love glowing through the eternal flame of oneness. A spiritual union of two hearts and one soul radiating light for the entire world to see so it doesn't matter about being in 3d don't worry about the physical here if they're not here or you're not happy you're creating the space right we're creating an oasis of peace and love a nice space for divine masculine to come and stay. I love you. Thank you for being here. Look me up at reikibybella.com. If you haven't done your um, mastership yet, get your 10 pack, fast track to power, or get a free upgrade in your psychic reading with me. You can also book up four sessions or six sessions if you're interested in healing, or you can learn Reiki level one and two in the fast track. Hopefully I'll talk to you soon. Please comment below. Keep your comments going. We need to connect here at Vimeo. I love you. May God bless you in magical ways. And remember that you're on a mission and you're supported and you're going to give it to God and sit back and know who you are and be open and receptive to all good including the love of your twin through progression, not perfection. I love you. Thanks for being here with me. Hands on Reiki on, give it to God, and all will be well. Look me up. I'm at ReikiByBella.com. Bye for now.